This is question number 11. A point Q is 2,000 nautical miles uh, to the west of a point P, 40 degrees to the north, 155 degrees to the west. Find the longitude of Q to the nearest degree. Now, when you're answering this, uh, you need to have this. You can make a sketch to make it a bit clearer uh, so that you understand it. So this is a, this is the equator. That is the equator. Uh, the latitude is 40 degrees to the to the north. So that is uh, 40 degrees. Uh, we have the we have uh, the vertical line, and we have the axis here. So this means that uh, if we draw that, that uh, also we draw a line here. This is the angle that we say it is 40. And it is the same as this angle. Uh, so we can take, uh, we can take our, let's take our P here. Uh, to, 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 to let you uh, and, uh, understand it, it's like we are behind the, the, the group. So this is the, the line that we have. So this is, we are starting from 155. Uh, from 155 we are in the east so it means this is 40 degrees north and uh, 155 degrees to the west uh, let's take our point P Q here and uh, our Q we, we want to find the if we find now the angle between the the between the two these two points then we will be able to determine the position of uh, or the the, po the, pos the, 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 the longitude of Q, that is the line that crosses here, uh, this line actually here, this one, that is the longitude of Q. So if we get this angle, we will add to 155 to be able to determine the position of Q or the longitude of Q. So it is important to note that uh, the distance from one place to the other on the small uh, latitude is equals to uh, that is uh, is equals to we say distance uh, distance is equals to alpha uh, multiplied by 60 the cosine of theta our this is our theta now 40 uh, so or you can say uh, distance is equals to alpha over 360 uh, multiplied by 2 pi r but in most cases since r will keep on changing we say r can be replaced by alpha uh, that is uh, alpha over 360 uh, multiplied by 2 uh, pi r cosine of theta because we know the radius of the earth this is the radius of the earth so we, we now we relate now uh, the small r, the radius, this is the r, the small r of that longitude, uh, latitude with the, the radius of the earth which we know. Now with that, we can now answer this question. Uh, we say 2000, that is the distance between P and Q is equals to our alpha, we don't know this angle, that's what we are looking for. We multiply by 60, the cosine of, uh, the cosine of uh, cos theta. Our theta is 40 degrees. So we can now get alpha is equals to divide both sides by uh, 60 cos 40. 60, this is 60 cosine of 40 degrees and you'll be able to find that is equals to using your calculator it is 43.5 uh, degrees. Uh, since now so we are supposed to add, uh, if we add 155 degrees, you add 43.5, you'll be able to get uh, 5, uh, that is we are adding 5, we get 8, uh, we get uh, 9, 1 point, that is degree. So we see, you see we have crossed <coughs> the 180, so we subtract 180. We subtract, we get 5, uh, 8, uh, this is 
18.1, 18.5 degrees. So we are on the east side, 18 degrees. So what we do is uh, we now subtract 180. We subtract this angle here so that uh, <coughs> we'll be able to get the latitude. So we subtract 18.5 uh, because now we have crossed to the east side. We get 5. This is 9. You get 1. This is 6, 1, 6, 12, 1.5. So this means that uh, the, the, the longitude of, uh, of uh, Q, uh, that is longitude, is equals to 161.5. Actually, we can say the position of Q is, uh, it is 40 degrees to the north and it is 161.5 degrees to the east so that is a position although that is not that if you answer that just say the longitude is 161.5 degrees you get three marks so that's how you approach that question and you'll be able to get uh, the correct answer